Hello everyone, I hope and pray that you are well. Uh, as you may notice, I'm here at Centennial Christian School here in the gym. The volleyball net is set up, I'm on the volleyball court, uh, because in a moment I'm going to read actually a letter to you uh, that I shared a few years ago with the church, and I think you'll find it fitting. Um, it came to Centennial from uh, a Centennial Christian, from a student from another, from another school, and I think it just fits well into our, service, our series on the order of worship. Uh, but before I read the letter, uh, I just want to kind of recap. Um, yesterday in worship, we talked about confession and forgiveness and, and how we are assured of uh, God's grace. And I want to encourage each of us to think about uh, the pattern of confession and forgiveness, um, not just as a Sunday thing, but as an everyday thing for Christians. And so good advice that I received when I got married was uh, never go to bed angry, right? It's, it's a good policy to, to confess and to forgive daily. And we need that in, in so many of our relationships. And confession and forgiveness uh, can often take more grace than we possess. Uh, it can be hard. Uh, but thankfully, God helps us to be more graceful in both when our asking of forgiveness and in our offering of forgiveness to others. Uh, because uh, these things, confession and forgiveness, are, are hard work. I want to read to you uh, the letter first. It starts this way. To, to whom it may be concerned. Hello, my name is Steve, and I need to make something right. About four years ago in high school, I played on a volleyball team for a particular school. I was in grade 11 and at a volleyball tournament in the change room with my team. The Centennial team had accidentally left their ball bag in the change room. I saw the volleyballs in there and I, and I proceeded to take one. A few minutes later, the Centennial team came in and took the ball bag out. Shortly after, they came back and asked if we had seen another ball lying around. I lied to them and told them that we hadn't and for lying, I'm sorry. I kept the ball with me and still have it to this day. When I think about what I did, I'm ashamed of myself. I feel the only way to make this right is to apologize and reimburse the athletic department or the team for the ball. I've enclosed a check for the amount of that a new ball currently costs. I looked up the price on the website and it should cover the cost for a new ball. The check's in American funds and I've since, since I've since moved down to the States. I'm sorry again for the theft and the dishonesty and would appreciate your forgiveness in this matter. If a new ball for the senior team is not needed, I'll trust you to direct the money where it may best be used. Sincerely, Steve. And of course, uh, to me, that's a, a great example of confession and, and seeking to make amends. Now, I have no idea what happened in this young man's life um, that prompted the letter, right? You know, maybe it was just nagging guilt that accumulated over the years or or maybe he had some sort of spiritual awakening. Or uh, maybe he received a gift of grace in his own life. Uh, regardless, it's, it's obvious that, that confession and forgiveness are hard work. But we know that they're also necessary work. And when we include confession and forgiveness in our daily pattern, uh, just as we include them in our weekly worship, we begin to look a little bit more like the God that we worship. Now, I'd like to think that you to think that I randomly picked this volleyball, but I didn't because it's from Provincials from last year. But I want you to think. I want you to think about this week and how you might exercise confession and forgiveness uh, in your home uh, with your family. And how this week you might exercise confession and forgiveness at school, on the volleyball court, at work, this week, how will you exercise confession and forgiveness in the ordinary places of your life so that by God's grace and power, the ordinary becomes extraordinary? The peace of Christ be with you all.